Yo, what's up guys, my name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We're in California and today I have some good news that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. Cue the book. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfer. So I know a lot of people are probably not gonna watch the entirety of this video, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. A few months ago, we made a Discord that was $17 a month to join, and it was super active. So many deals were happening. People were always cracking jokes in the Hangout chat, but unfortunately, since the market has started to go down, a lot less people have been buying and selling, a lot less people have been active in the chat, and we're not providing a product that it was nearly up to the standards of where we started. When we started, such a sick Discord, but sadly, it's not that anymore. But I don't wanna kill it. I feel so weird charging for a Discord that is nowhere near how dope it was when we started. We came up with the idea, just make the shit free. And that's it. If you want to join, link is in the description. The Discord is now free. There's no paywall. I hope we can revive the energy, build a sick community again, but you don't have to pay. If you're currently already paying, please hit up LaunchPass to cancel your membership. Hit the link in the description so you now get enrolled for free. So now for the people who want to hear the reason why we are actually canceling and the full explanation, stick around and that's what we're going to do right now. So when we made the Discord, the hobby was so much different. There were so many things going on. There was so much hype. There was the National. There was Dallas. It felt like there was a show every single weekend and everyone was just hype. As the school year started, people started to, you know, live their life. And cards don't really seem to be as big of a priority for a lot of people. I don't know if this is just me, but I've noticed that most of my flipper friends are kind of like in high school to college. Some even younger. It's a natural thing to happen. People might not be so interested in spending their limited free time buying cards anymore. Like imagine you're a kid in high school, right? You wake up stupid early, go to class. Go to class till like 3 p.m. Then you have to go to football practice. You get home at like 6 p.m. And then after 6 p.m., you might not want to just hop on Discord and buy shit. You're probably thinking, so I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Hop on Xbox, go to the football game, do shit like that. And it makes sense why it's not as active. I wish the Discord was popping and everyone was firing off in there like it used to be, but it's just simply not the case. And with everything, I always own up to whatever we do. We do something wrong, we'll own up to it. That's just kind of how I've always been, always been transparent. I've made videos when I'm sad, I've made videos when I'm happy, I've made videos when I'm wrong, and that's what we're always gonna keep doing. When you really think about it, the margins are not that big when you come to flipping cards. It seems like a lot of people are now using their money to do other things besides buying cards. <laughs> like, say you buy a downtown that's worth 140 bucks, you pay 80%, flip it for 90%, make 10% profit. 10% profit sounds good, but <laughs> it's 14 bucks. And I know a lot of kids are getting a little bored of doing that. Putting up all this money to make, like, honestly, what feels like such minimal amounts back with a risk of that card going down isn't as enticing as it used to be. Because at least back a few months ago, the market was a lot more stable. So if you bought a card, held it on for like a few weeks, you don't really have to worry about it getting nuked. But now that's a very real concern. So it makes sense. People are now taking their money that they would use for buying cards and they just download price picks. <laughs> or they'll just rip that $140 they were going to buy downtown with on the Chiefs money line. You know, it makes fucking sense. There is a very real conversation about, should we just kill the discord? Like, should we just delete this shit? But I was like, nah, like th that community feeling when we started, it was really fun. That's why we're just gonna make it free. But the reason why there was a paywall in the first place, I've said it a million times in the previous videos, was to weed out scammers. And I can confidently say that really helped. It actually reduced the amount of scammers by a lot. But now that it's free, I know it's gonna happen. There are going to be scammers now. So please, if you join this discord that is now free and doesn't have that security measure of of weeding out people. If you join, please only use PayPal goods and services. I really want to make that clear. Use PayPal goods and services because there are gonna be more scammers now. For anyone who is wondering, thinking like, oh, can I get a refund if you paid in the past? Honestly, no. It's not like the server is dead. There's still deals happening. It's just not as much. I hope you're able to make your money, but now that it's free, I really hope you utilize it to make as much money as possible. The hope is that this brings in a ton of new people into the hobby, kind of spark the flipping community back up. Let's be real. The market's been pretty fucking ass recently. And this is honestly our attempt at trying to build a little more hype around it. So everyone, just please be careful if you join our Discord. To summarize it all, we weren't making a product that we were super excited with. It was amazing at the start. Unfortunately, not as amazing now. But now it's free. Please don't get scammed. Use PayPal goods and services. I hope to hang out with you guys there. Yeah, guys. Hope you have a good day. Hold on. Let me get, let me get, you gotta get whiskey. Come on. What are we doing? I never even acknowledged this. Look how crazy this is. I'm in LA for a few days doing some music stuff, writing for people. But look at that view. The Hollywood sign. Dude, this... Airbnb is insane. Get the doge. Hello, Whisk. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have friends like sports cards, please share them. Justin Gamble. Gamble. We will see you guys tomorrow, like always, with a new vlog. Peace.